Today, MySQL is the second ranking relational database management solution in the world. Spotify, Netflix, Facebook and Booking.com are some of global companies that are using MySQL with replication and clustering to achieve global availability. As MySQL is one of the first open source databases, MySQL replication capabilities have evolved in time with open source and proprietary implementations to respond multi-data center deployment and high-performing relational database requirements around the globe. As the enterprise business grows, it is not a trivial task making MySQL totally reliable and available against disasters and traffic pikes. Database replication and clustering can help them to achieve this goal. Let's review the most used replication types for MySQL. Master-slave replication Master-slave replication is the first replication option introduced for MySQL. You have a single master server that accepts both read and writes and one or more read-only slave servers. Data from master server are asynchronously replicated to slave servers by sending binary log dump using master IO thread. Slave SQL thread generates statements and keeps the slave up to date. For each replication type, after short definition, I will explain pros and cons. Let's see pros of master slave replication. It is very fast as doesn't impose any restrictions on performance under normal operating conditions with sufficient bandwidth between servers if they are in different data centers. Read and write requests can be split to different servers. For example, all analytics queries can be made to slave nodes while write requests are going to master. Cons of master slave replication. Because of asynchronous replication, this shim is not very reliable. Some of committed transactions on master may be never available on slave if master node fails. Write requests can be scaled only vertically. The only option to scale write requests to increase compute capacity of the master node. Failover process is manual in general. You should take care of promotion of replica node to master. Master master replication. Master master MySQL replication has been introduced to solve major issues of master slave replication. This type of replication has two or more master nodes that can accept both read and write requests. In addition, you can have multiple slave nodes for each of masters. The replication between master nodes is asynchronous. The bin log from each master is read and executed on other master. Auto increment offset is configured so that primary keys do not collide. Pros of master master replication. Write requests can be scaled not only by increasing computing capacity of single master node, but also adding additional master nodes. Failover occurs in semi-automatic way because of having multiple master nodes. The chance that all master nodes fail simultaneously is very low. If any of master nodes fail, there is at least one more master node that can handle remaining requests. Cons of master master replication. Due to asynchronous replication between all master nodes, some of transactions may be lost forever in case one of master nodes fail. Due to asynchronous replication, backups made on each master node may not contain the same data. Failover is still not fully automated. You need to promote a slave node to master one. MySQL group replication. MySQL group replication is implemented by MySQL server plugin and provides replication based on distributed state machine architecture. MySQL group replication allows creating fault tolerant systems with redundancy that guarantees the cluster's availability as long as majority of servers do not fail. The unique feature of MySQL group replication is it provides built-in automatic recovery and conflict resolution. Pros of MySQL group replication. Automatic failover happens in case master node fails. Servers that belong to same group will elect new master automatically. Therefore, group replication can be considered as clustered solution. It is synchronous replication. So, committed data will not be lost in case of master node fails. Read and writes can be scaled by adding new master and slave nodes. It doesn't impose big performance restrictions because it is enough to have 
only two master nodes for full flat MySQL cluster. Cons of MySQL group replication. It is available only for MySQL, but not for MariaDB and Persona. One group is limited to nine nodes. Multi-master MySQL replication. Galera cluster as multi-master replication is a synchronous cluster of databases with several master nodes based on synchronous replication. Galera performs the role of multi-master and allows direct read and write requests to any node at any time. If one of nodes is lost, interruption of operations will not occur. Nodes are initialized automatically and there is no need to backup the database manually and copy it to new node. Galera is very safe solution because it provides synchronous replication. Pros of multi-master MySQL replication. Data safety is guaranteed using Quorum protocol. Galera provides real clustering features, including automatic failover. Read requests are very fast and can be scaled efficiently. Cons of multi-master MySQL replication. It brings performance overhead. All transactions will be committed to at least three servers. If there is a massive write request, it may result in performance degradation for read requests. It requires reliable network connectivity with good quality of service to minimize lags between nodes if they are in different data centers. It is only supported for MariaDB and Persona, but not supported for MySQL database. After reviewing available open source replication types, let's talk about value proposition of commercial solutions. Commercial replication solutions provide increased reliability, scalability, smooth setup, operation, and monitoring features on top of open source alternatives with employing following components. Proxy SQL as load balancer for database. It can provide query caching and routing support. It also integrates with orchestrator for failover purposes. Orchestrator as management tool that provides different capabilities such as topology visualization, replication configuration and auditing of replication problems. It can also able to detect master's failure and provide options of manual or automated failover. Setting up replication in MySQL looks easy, but managing it in production has never been an easy task. After setting up replication, all sorts of things can go wrong. Possible pain points can be wrong replication method selection, circular replication, replication slowness, failure during large updates, handling schema chains. Let's review pain points and potential mitigation options in our next videos. Thank you for listening.